Does that look good? Crooked? Phone's crooked. Fix the phone. I'm working on it. How about that? Not better? Mm -hmm. All right, we're rolling. Can you grab... <laughs> can you get the every, this is everything seasoning quickly? A no. little bit, a little bit. You'll be fine. Just a tiny You'll little You'll survive. Bit. I love you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Gabby filmed a vlog. I'm trying to convince her to start a vlog because I think that they're a lot of fun and I think Gabby, I think you'd be really good at it. Okay, so let's get this started. up to Matt and Adam's house. We are shooting here today. Thomas has convinced me to start a vlog and gave me no instruction other than to film my entire day horizontally instead of vertically. So here we go. I'm going to take you along on our shoot. We're doing a big Moroccan dinner party uh, inspired by my trip to Morocco earlier this year. We'll see how it goes. So you're in Long Beach here, right? Yeah. Matt and Adam live there. Rolled up to Matt and Adam's house. So what's the difference between like how often do you shoot at their house versus their studio versus like on location? Uh, we shoot at the studio 85% of the time on location at their house or somewhere else. We're about somewhere. to drop that. How do you choose between studio and location? If we need more lifestyle and like more ambiance, we'll shoot on location. Hi Adam. Hi. What you doing? I'm packing groceries. We shop for the shoot the day before, so everything can like be there ready to go when we get there. Walk us through that process. How do they know what to buy and... <laughs> so a couple weeks before the shoot, I send all the recipes down to Matt and Adam. And they put together a shopping list and either Adam or one of his assistants or a couple of assistants go shopping the days leading up to the photo shoot. So then when we get there day of at like 8 a.m. we can just start rolling. Got it. Like what's the most groceries for your shoot you've ever had to get? Mm, probably like the biggest grocery bills are for stuff like this like dinner like Thanksgiving was a big one this was big I don't know why like dinner parties just always cost more well and how many you did what like six recipes oh no it was ten recipes ten recipes okay yeah. so we that's always like do like ten to twelve a day so it's like ten full meals ten recipes so there was an appetizer a salad Got it. main course so like three meals no <laughs> Look who it is! Hello! I think I was blocking the microphone. Oh, hello! I'm new to this whole thing. What are you doing? I'm making a vlog. Oh, hi! So for everybody who doesn't know you, who's Matt? Matt! Can I have that water? Um, Matt is my very best friend. Yes, we drink out of Gatorade bottles <laughs> around our house. Oh, I fit my cheek. Matt is my best friend slash food photographer. And Adam? Adam is my other best friend slash food stylist. And they're married and I've just inserted myself into their relationship. And I'm their honorary wife. Great. Okay. <laughs> Here's where we're shooting today. We're just getting all set up. Say hi, Gina. Gina's prop stylist extraordinaire. Wait till you see all these beautiful things we brought. It's going to be gorgeous. So what are you doing here? This is the patented wet scabby cooking way of curling your hair. Is you trying to be a beauty blogger? <laughs> okay, this is important. One of my girlfriends, Louise, told me how to curl my hair because she's way more experienced than I do. You take a piece, you hold your curling iron down, and you wrap around away from your head, hold it for a few seconds, drop. And then when it's all done, you spray the crap out of it. With? Do texturizing spray, firm it up, and maybe a little hairspray too. What's the difference between texturizing spray and hairspray? Well, texturizing spray gives you a little texture and hairspray holds it in place. And dry shampoo is what you need when you haven't take, washed your hair in a few days and you need to switch it. Does dry shampoo actually like clean your hair? No, I think it just makes it not greasy. So it doesn't shampoo your hair at all? So oh, confusing. for every photo shoot. No, most photo shoots I don't wear any makeup in. Um, I'm very unskilled when it comes to doing my makeup. I know how to put on bronzer, highlighter, mascara. That's so you all wouldn't I call do. yourself a contouring professional? No, but I really like it when professionals contour my face. I look fantastic. Very normal behavior. Always. <laughs> Same house. 
This is my favorite shot from the shoot. Matt standing on the counter? Yeah. Yeah. How often does this happen? Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Side note, Matt's got really good legs. Matt's got the best legs. <laughs> good work, Matt. Stay in the house, I can do what I want. Standing on counters. Bottled water. Who's all here? Water in the fridge in the garage, in okay. one of the, the pull-out drawers. Okay. This shot, there's like 12 people in the kitchen. There's not 12 people. Adam, when we shoot, we have Adam, food stylist, and his two assistants. So that's three. Gina, sometimes she has an assistant, sometimes she doesn't. That's five people. Matt, his assistant, Byron, me, seven. Eight. Eight. We have done one, two, three shoots. We're moving on to the Moroccan dinner party. I have changed outfits between every single one and I don't pack quite the same way Thomas does, so I just feel like I need, this is my tip, okay? From here, I have, I'm going to, like a, I'm going to Miraval in Arizona, which is a spa, and I've been told I don't have to wear anything besides Lululemon, so. So I'm repacking everything we're using for the shoot on this side of my suitcase, so then I can fold it up and not think about it until I get home. Pretty brilliant, right? See, Thomas, I can pack really well, too. So here's my question. Is that really a tip? Gabby. Hold on. Ever. Okay. Yes, it is a tip. Um, math important. I get it. Uh, it is a tip because just let me live my life. It's like the most obvious tip ever. That's like me saying, you know it would be a really good tip? Wear shoes when you go outside. Got some eggplant dip going on. This, by the way, is literally, I have it every day in Morocco. It is my life. You're gonna love it. Your life. It is my life. Tell me about that statement. You hear it a lot. I say it a lot. What do you mean by it? I'm obsessed. Well, you say that a lot too. Like. Well, I have to mix it up. I can't just be like, oh my God, this is everything. Or, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Or, it's giving me life. I gotta, you know, so have you just some mean variety. like you're really excited about something? Yeah, I mean, you're... also, I'm never not excited about one of my recipes because I would only post incredible recipes. So I work really hard on them. Would that then mean every recipe is everything? Yeah. And... Every recipe is life. Yeah. All right. Are you feeling good about it? I feel like it's really giving me my life. <laughs> Table. So like how many props are used on like a typical shoot day? I have no idea, but we pulled them all from the studio on the shoot the day before and then- Are these all Matt and Adams props? Mm -hmm. And their prop collection. We'll have to do a vlog on just their prop studio. Yeah, I'll shoot that it's next pretty time pretty badass. How many years have they been building out this collection? Ten, probably. Yeah. I'm making a vlog, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, We're yeah. setting up our first shot for our Moroccan party. Chic, huh? Same but different to the picture you took in the desert. With the tea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, mint and tea is how you start every meal. And what was it called when it's just mint leaves and water? I don't remember, but that's what this is because I don't Coca? drink now. Coca? Coca is cocaine. Coca. Coca. Was Good that it? Good job, honey. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. Please excuse my accent <laughs> and Coca. incorrect pronunciation. I think you got it right. Yeah, I think so too. Favorite memory with Matt? Oh my on god. On the spot, putting it on the spot. The time, the time we were in Brazil and we were not supposed to go, we were going uh, riding on oxen, right? Water buffalo. We were going oxen? water buffalo you went riding. Oregon Trail right there. <laughs> we were going water buffalo riding and I didn't know. And I was wearing a dress and I was wearing underwear like in a dress, like that was it. And I couldn't get on the water buffalo like that because gross. And so Matt, Took off his shirt and let me put it on as a pair of hands and <laughs> under buffalo. Is there a photo of this? I don't know, maybe. Working real hard over here. That was a great take right there. You think so? No. Oh, I was gonna say, I think you should take it out. These are the harissa olives we had in Morocco. So take us through the harissa olives. What's in them? Oh, because they're gonna go on my blog. What's green harissa? Like, it's like a spicy herby pesto. So harissa is a spicy pesto. Mm-hmm. For people that don't know what harissa is. Yeah, it's delicious. And this is These are the harissa olives we had in Morocco that changed my life. Feel good about it? I do. 
Were you the mix taking your head at me because everything changes my life? Basically. <laughs> you love me for it. Basically. Does everything change your life? You already talked to me about that. I know. I'm just pointing it out again. Okay. Here is what the set looks like. Matt's got his set up. Final pick. Looks good, right? What's your review process like? What do you mean? Like, he's got 12 photos right there. Well, that's, so, I've, so Matt and Gina get the photo, Matt, Gina, and Adam get the photo kind of where they want it. So, like, Gina will futz things around and, like, move glasses and spill things and all this. Adam will check all the food. Matt will check for lighting and, like, they'll readjust things around it. And then I usually come in and look at the last couple frames and pick my favorite. So there's, he doesn't send you any files like back and forth. Like, there. So you pick your selects with him. Yeah, and then I actually fancy myself a digital tech and I will select the photo that I like the best and then I'll delete the other ones leading up to it to like save Matt editing time. So we have like a very condensed deliverable when it's all over. Client of the Year Award goes to Gabby. I am. I I am financing the shoot and I'm working. Digitech, what's Gabby cooking? Looks good, right? <laughs> what, this would be a fun question. What is the playlist that's usually on when you guys are shooting? I am not allowed to dictate the playlist. I wonder why. Because we would just be listening to Taylor Swift and Beyonce and Trans Siberian Orchestra come the holidays. Matt hates them. Um, Matt does it, and it's usually 80s. He's got really good taste in music. Yeah, he does, but there's no Taylor Swift and there's no Beyonce. Sometimes I get Britney Spears if I'm lucky. I don't want nobody, baby. I don't want nobody, baby. You guys lip sync perfectly right there. Yeah. How fast do you break down once the set, once the shoot's over? Fast. We want to get the F out and go out for dinner. Yeah. Even though you've had all this food, like what percentage of the food that you shoot is edible? All of it. Everything's edible and everything gets taken home for the most part, unless it's something like super fresh that sat out for 15 hours. Um, but for the most part, the crew takes everything home. So like the chicken tagine went with Byron, the couscous went with Laura. Um, I don't know where everything else went. I took a bunch of the fruit because I was getting on the plane the next day and I wanted to take some what do you think about this? I didn't even know that happened. <laughs> so one of the things working on like the advertising side of this and being on a variety of shoots, like you guys have a lot of fun there. Yeah. Why is that? Like how do you how do you set that? I'm a fun client. Yeah. Actually I know the answer to this. Because we all care about the images we're producing. It's not, it's something we're all passionate about. It's beautiful, like it's on brand, it's colorful. Everyone gets to express their creativity in different ways. There's no restriction on it. And so we all feel very free. Attack to parasites and leishmaniasis and all this stuff. So it goes from this like historical, like adventure thing to then like this. That's a wrap. Are you gonna sleep right there? Yes. Adam, what are you doing? I'm taking a picture of my living room. <laughs> Sayonara. We were all so tired we couldn't even go out for dinner. We ordered Chinese food in. You had Chinese food? I had Chinese Yeah, and that wasn't Panda. I had something that I had orange chicken. Yeah, made me a little sick. Alright, so that wraps, that's a wrap on the recap of vlog number one. What do you think? I'm excited to watch you cut it all together. Uh, please let us know what you think. <laughs> If you like this, comment and subscribe below. Well, I think you should probably subscribe because do you ever want to miss this ever again? Probably not. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> All right.